We are metals. You see us around everywhere. In the house, on the roads. In water, in the skies, and even in outer space. Silver, quite famous, has been used by kings and queens. It has adorned gods and goddesses, and for ages, it has even helped enhance the beauty of many of you. It can easily be shaped, carved, or bent into any shape. Have you noticed the fine wires used in the making of all this jewelry? This is because of a property called ductility, an ability of any material to be drawn into a fine wire. Silver can also be beaten into really thin sheets. This is because of the property of malleability. That is how it gets to adorn all these sweets. Mm. It is also used to make mirrors. But nowadays, other cheaper and stain-proof materials are preferred. When it is exposed to moist air, it tarnishes a bit, loses its color. But with a little polish and a little scrubbing, it is back at its shiny best. This is copper, known to mankind for a very, very long time. Like silver, it can easily be beaten into sheets and given different shapes. That is why it was quite commonly used in households. But you can see that it can easily react with air and water, thereby losing its shine. It reacts with carbon dioxide forming a coat of copper carbonate. That green stuff you see. Copper carbonate is very poisonous and is used as an insecticide. After we found this out, people have stopped using copper vessels. Copper is an excellent conductor of heat and electricity. 
making it one of the commonest metals in the making of water boilers and electrical wires. It can, of course, be drawn into really fine wires. This is iron, quite cheap and, of course, very, very strong. But still, like other metals, it can be bent beaten into sheets shaped Cut, drawn into fine wires. The only problem is that it reacts easily with the oxygen in the air. You know, that's when rusting occurs. However, people have found ways of protecting it from rusting. You coat it with other metals. This process is known as galvanization. You also paint it. You also combine it with other materials to stop it from corroding. Stainless steel is after all mainly iron with a little carbon and small quantities of other materials. Like other metals, Iron is a good conductor of heat and electricity, making it quite useful in various industries. This is aluminium, the poor man's silver. You find it commonly used in households. After all, it is a good conductor of heat and can be easily shaped and bent. It can be beaten into really thin sheets. It can also be used to keep things hot because it can take a lot of shine. But it does react with acids and gets corroded after long use. Of course, when it comes to being drawn into wires, it is not as good as copper, but is much cheaper. So, you will find its use quite common in electrical appliances too. One other great property of aluminium is its lightness. Which is why it is used to make aircrafts and spacecrafts. Well friends, that was a very brief introduction to silver, copper, iron and aluminium. I'm sure you agree that we are among the most commonly used materials. Now let's briefly revise some of our common properties. We are commonly available. We are quite strong. At the same time, can be bent shaped, beaten into sheets or drawn into wires. 
we are good conductors of heat and electricity. We do react with other substances, but you have found ways of protecting us from corrosion. We take a nice polish, become quite shiny and reflecting. We are very useful, aren't we?